In a disturbing incident, Khalistani extremists attacked Hindu-Canadian devotees at the Hindu Sabha temple in Brampton, highlighting the escalating violence of Khalistani extremism in Canada. Now, the incident has uh, prompted widespread condemnation from various political leaders, including Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who has also spoken out against this attack. Taken to social media platform X, Trudeau said that uh, the acts of violence at the Hindu Sabha Mandir in Brampton are unacceptable. Every Canadian has the right to practice their faith freely and safely. In fact, Canadian opposition leader Pierre also strongly condemned the attack and uh, said that it is completely unaccept unacceptable to see violence targeting worshippers at the Hindu Sabha Mandir in Brampton. In fact, Indian origin Canadian MP Chandra Arya also condemned the attack and said that a red line has been crossed by Khalistani extremists. My colleague Pradeep is now joining us with more details on this. Pradeep, tell us more about this particular incident. Why exactly did the violence break out and what action has been taken by the Canadian uh, government against uh, the Khalistani uh, uh, quote-unquote thugs? Uh, except for those platitudes and the lip service, no action has so far been initiated against any of these Khalistani uh, extremist elements operating in Canada on Canadian soil. Because we yesterday saw that they were holding sticks in their hands. Initially, they were protesting, carrying those Khalistani flags. And after that, they entered inside the temple. They started targeting devotees. They started hitting them with those sticks, as you can see in the visuals also. That was very unfortunate and a very shocking incident, but not surprising. Why I'm saying not surprising? Because the way they had been provided, lived with by the Canadian government in recent past, everybody knew that this is further going to encourage and embolden them. This is not the first time when the Hindus had been targeted in the Western country. We have seen the Khalistanis either had been uh, trying to desecrate their temples, trying to target them, even Islamist radicals have also been doing the same thing with the Hindus. But here in this case, uh, the condemnation is not really going to work. They, the Canadian government will have to act against them because this time the Justin Trudeau is saying that everybody has the right to follow their faith. But the question arises, what about all those dozers that have been prevented, uh, pre presented by the Indian government against those Khalistani extremist elements? Why the action is not being initiated? Because when you start supporting them, you are further encouraging and emboldening. That's one of the reasons that the Hindus continue to suffer. And they have to realize one thing, that Hindus is a very peaceful community and they are part of the development process as far as the Canada is concerned. They are part of the development there in that region. So the peacefully they are living, they are not involved in any kind of uh, uh, terror-related activities or any kind of violence-related activities. So why the Hindus are being targeted? So this is the biggest question. But unfortunately, instead of addressing that question, the Canadian uh, Prime Minister had always been trying to side with those Khalistani elements because he too had been eyeing right. at the vote bank because elections are around the corner. So he thinks that with the appeasement of the Khalistani, they will be able to get more votes. But here in this case, it's a really very unfortunate. Already we have seen that the Canadian MP has said that the problem is that they, one, the Khalistani have crossed the red line. The second is that Khalistanis had been able to infiltrate into the right. uh, law enforcement agencies also. That's one of the reason that action is not initiated against those